finally, it is here. The B203 Ultimate Fusion DX set. I honestly think this beats the Overdrive set from last year. We get a new Hyperion, a new Helios, Divine Belial with new gears, a launcher. Bro, this set is truly insane. I got me skizzers. So let's open this bad boy right up. We get our new launcher, our fusion manual, Divine Belial, King Helios, MR, Super Hyperion, MR. Let's open them. Layer number one, disc number one, driver number one, layer number two, disc number two, driver number two, bearing spin unit, and launcher. Not number one, it's just one launcher. Layer number three, disc number three, and driver number three. I am so excited to finally get to talk about these bays, so let's put the stickers on and talk about them. And now that we've got all the stickers on, let's break these bays down. Starting off, we get the Hyperion BU Core, which has a very nice design. And then the Super MR Blade with a rubber half and a metal half for the Fusion, which we'll get into later. And then the 2 Armor, which is pretty standard, nothing special, but good armor. Then the Tapered Disc. How many stars did I get? Uh... Yeah, this, this is awful. It sucks. It's the worst disc in B. Until we got this awesome driver called Explosion. It's like destroy and exceed. It's, ah, it's so good. Anyway, moving on to King Helios MR. We get the Helios core, which is basically just the reversed blue Hyperion core. But it's still really nice. I love the design. And then King MR with basically the, it's basically the same thing as Super MR. Um, it has a rubber half and a... Metal half for fusion, and then the Giga Disc, which is actually a pretty good disc for defense types, and it's just overall really solid, so no complaints here. Anyways, and then we get a new driver called Zeal, which is actually pretty cool. It's similar to um, Explosion, just more passive, so it'll be interesting to see how this thing performs, I guess. And then we get another Divine Recolor. Um, it's cool that the the metal stickers match like the colors of the H gear. Uh, but kind of tired of gold red colors. Anyway, we get a new core, Belial 3, which has a really nice design, and a red burst stop. Er. Not sure if the burst stopper on this one compared to Belial 2 is better or the same, but either way, still cool. And then we get, like, our 1,000th Nexus. Kind of tired of it, but I get it, you know. D-gear and all that stuff. Um, one star. Stupid. Dead. But this driver easily makes up for it. This has to be like meta breaking. Bearing Drift, super solid driver. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably like the best driver in Burst easily. Good springs, insane life after death. Um, yeah, this driver is a menace to society. And then our new gear, H gear. It's basically just L gear, except you can switch between low and high mode. So there's a plastic one, and then a metal one. So basically, if you want it in low mode, put the core in, put the plastic one on top, then the metal one underneath, boom. Then high mode, metal piece goes on top, core goes underneath, and plastic piece goes underneath. Bam. Now I'm really eager to test all this stuff out in battles, so let's go do some battles, shall we?
All right, well, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the Ultimate Fusion DX set. Do you think the parts are worth it? Do you think the bays are good? Uh, what do you think about the new H gear? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below because I read every comment, so I'd love to see what you guys think. I love you all, and peace out.